you know, the people, the, the young folks just doing it, and then of course some, some, some uh, you know, a little older people doing it, but they play the music so loud, it shakes people house, through the sound of vibration, shakes the houses and buildings and stuff. That's right. And I make you, that's going to force you to hear what they want you to hear. They're demonic rap music, or they're demonic music. Uh, if you like country western, uh-uh, you're going to hear what they want you to hear. But if you like rap music, uh-uh, uh -uh, you're going to hear what they want you to hear. And I know in places it's against the law to do that. Some, some places, the law won't even enforce the law. That's sad, that's sad, that's sad. When the law is not humble. But I'm going to move on. That's another message for another time. Uh, time to bring out the back to our streets. So I remember a time you could sleep with your door open. Don't worry about nobody coming in doing you no harm. But now people got four, five locks, boats, <laughs> got stuff welded on their windows, <laughs> and still sitting there with their gun in their head. Uh, it's time to bring the honor back to our neighborhoods. Uh, to honor the elderly people. Honor people of authority. You know, sometimes now, you know, I mean, you remember you call police, police tell people turn the meter down, turn the meter down. Uh, you call the police now, and, and the police go there and tell them to turn the music down. They started to slap the police. Yeah. Who do you think you are? <laughs> bring, it's time to bring the honor back. It's time to bring the honor back to our streets and neighborhoods. I'm, I'm going to read these few scriptures to you. Lead you in the prayer of salvation. So you, so you go to heaven. I'm going to give you the address, telephone number of this ministry. So you decide you want to be a part of it, you see the vision. If you see that you can sow into this and get a great harvest for yourself, and a great harvest for other people, then you should be doing it. Uh, now, I'm going to read some scripture. Proverbs 29, 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, when good people, government, running things, the people rejoice, have a good time. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Just saying. Now, Proverbs 28, 12 says, When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked uh, rise, a man is hit. People go hide themselves. Stay in the house because of the wicked performance. I tell you. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Time to bring out the back. Let's see. Psalms. 12 verse 8 I believe is the last one. Psalm 12 verse 8. Psalm 12. Psalm number 12. Let's see. I'm going to read 8. 12, 8. The, the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. You see when the wicked folk are in a far position then they say wicked the wicked walk on every side. Oh, they bring their buddies in. Mm -hmm. Dishonorable people hang out with dishonorable people. Oh, yeah. That's where that is. But you see, I'm not going to have dishonor in my house. Even if my house have to be cleared, nobody here but me and Jesus. <laughs> Listen, it would be honor in my house. Because right. I'm going to honor God. And I and God say that I should and that he command me to demand honor for myself in my own house. So if that, somebody don't want to honor me, you know, if, if I had a wife and she didn't want to honor me, I'm not going to, she's welcome to go. And I would encourage her to leave. Now, same way in the ministry, you have to honor. You honor your friends and you, and they honor you. Folk that say they're your friends, they don't honor you. You need to stay away from them because uh, they don't mean you any good. They want to hurt you. They don't love you. Oh, yeah. You hear you. Yeah, they use you. They're showing you. If somebody always wants something for you, but they ain't from you, but they ain't never got nothing to give you. Oh. That's dishonor. They don't care about you. It's all about them. And uh, it's wrong for you to just constantly give to them and uh, not check them. Say, hey, wait a minute. I know when you get with your money, I don't see you. I know when you get your money, I hear about your money because you, you know you got a big mouth. You tell folks about how you spend money here, spend money there. Not that I want your money, need your money, but I'm supposed to be your friend. How is it? You can always come to me you want something, but, but you never come by and say, uh, friend, Barry, do you, do you need something? I brought you 
bag of chips or a Coke bag. No, you never do that. Well, then I tell you, stop coming to me. Because say, I'm not going to help you do wrong. Let's see. Because you're taking advantage of some people by doing that. Okay. Time to bring the honor back. Uh, I'm going to give you the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and say, pray this prayer. Father, I'm a sinner. I have sinned. I repent. Turn away from my sin. Uh, I'm sorry. I accept Jesus into my heart. Because I know Jesus died for my sins on the cross. And you raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus, come inside. I receive you. I'm born again. I'm saved. Friend, you say, hallelujah. Go to church and learn how to honor your fellow man. Hallelujah. And honor should be taught in the home and in the school. That's why honor begins in the home. If you got children that are walking in dishonorable, uh, ways and you see a lot of dishonor with the youth. You hear people talking about, oh, those young people, they're so dishonorable. No, but look at their parents. A lot of dishonorable children come from homes of dishonorable parents. They didn't teach them honor. Now, if you want to write this ministry, the address is apartment A, apartment A, A as in Apple, 422 West Cleveland, Stuttgart, Arkansas. 72160. If you want prayer, counsel, lessons, call 870-456-8547. Uh, my name is Apostle Barry Glover. You can contact me. Uh, so I'll see you. Oh yeah, the faith study is on Monday nights at 7 p.m. You're welcome to come back at the same address. Apartment 8, 422 West Cleveland, Stuttgart. Love you. See you next time. God bless you.